When you think that, you know, I never dreamt we'd be on the air at all with this show, uh, I'm delighted it's 200. When my co-creator Simon Fuller suggested that we do this show, I said, it'll never work. No one will love it. No one will watch dancing. And here we are, 200 shows on. It's hard to believe it's been 200 episodes, but I... I'm so happy that we're here and so proud and for dance all over the world too because they all have to celebrate in the fact that dance is still on television and thriving. It's crazy. Dancing, 200 episodes, prime time, that's crazy. I know, 200, I can't believe we made it here, it's crazy. It's, um, it's a celebration of dance and it's still on TV and I'm so excited to be part of it. This is really amazing. As Nigel said, it's, it's a pretty a phenomenal to have two hours of dance dedicated, you know, and that the audience is, and the uh, home audience is looking at it for two hours. That's amazing. And to have 200 episodes already done, it's pretty phenomenal. Really so proud, we're very excited. Really proud of yeah. that for dance. Really proud of that fact. So. I think um, me and Nigel particularly take great pride in the fact that we hear a lot of the kids say, I started dancing because of So You Think You Can Dance, and I've been inspired by you on the show. It's really cool. I just had somebody say that to me again this weekend when I was at a big ballroom comp in Tampa. Somebody walked up to me and said, I started because of you. When I hear that, I can't tell you, you know, what kind of joy that brings to me when I hear somebody say that. This is the frightening thing, you know, we've been going now for nine years, eight years. They were ten when we started, and now here they are on the show. Uh, it, it, it's amazing, uh, I'm, and hopefully, um, you know, we're inspirational for a lot of people to begin dancing. Well, you think about it, nine seasons, some of them are 18. I mean, they've been watching since they were little kids, and I can only imagine them. I mean, you could tell when you like go through this process, and you know, you only see that what happens on the show of the day of the show. But when they're going through the whole four or five days, they look like a little bit like little lost lambs because it's so overwhelming. It's like your dreams coming true right before your eyes. And I mean, I think they'll get more comfortable. They'll settle in. But for this week, it was a shock from the first moment we saw them. They were just as surprised as everyone is going to be at home watching them. You know. They were like, I'm on the show that I've been watching. I mean, I can only imagine it's crazy for them. Uh, Jamal McGee is one of my best friends from season one. I talk to him about it all the time. They had no idea what this was going to be. So it is really crazy to see it turn into this platform that's giving careers to these dancers. I just did a film and I got to work with like half the cast was from the, uh, came off from the show, a Disney Channel original. Um, it's called Teen Beach Musical. It's coming out next year. It was directed by Jeffrey Hornaday, who's a choreographer. He did Chorus Line. Uh, flash dance. He's a phenomenal choreographer, so it's great to work with the director who knows about that stuff. Um, so it was great. We had like Marcos in it, uh, Molly Gray, um, Kent Boyd, uh, Ricky, Jamie. Uh, I'm leaving people out, um, but they're gonna be mad at me. But it was. I mean, it's like literally half the cast was from So You Think You Can Dance. It was crazy. No, we're having a blast. It's got. A, it's, it's been a bit of a party atmosphere here tonight. Quite delicious, actually. A little bit sweet for me. I'm more of a cheese girl. I like a cheese plate. I wouldn't have minded a 200th birthday cheese plate instead. Maybe a glass of port. But uh, beggars can't be choosers, so I'm very happy with the giant, enormous slice of cake I've got. <laughs>